Well, hello learners. In this video, you're going to learn about words featuring these two letters. You're going to get some example words. We're going to learn how to pronounce these two letters as a combination or a diagraph. And I'm going to put some of these in example sentences for you. So when you see the P and H letters together, this is a common diagraph in the English language. Some learners quite often pronounce it as P. It's not that. All you need to do is put your teeth, your top two teeth on your bottom lip like this. And then just blow air from the back or from your lungs up through your throat and out through your mouth. And that will then create a F sound. A bit like an F. F, F. It's actually the same as the F sound in the English language or certainly in phonics. So let's have a look at some word examples now and let's see if we can improve your pronunciation by the end of this video. Word number one, phone, phone. I record my videos on my phone. Word number two, nephew, nephew. My brother's son is my nephew. My sister's son is my nephew. Word number three, phonics, phonics. You are studying phonics with me. Phonics are the sounds of English or how we pronounce certain words or certain sounds in the English language. Phonics. Word number four, sphere. Sphere, s, f, sphere. So first do the s f sound, then transition into f, s. F. Notice how your tongue slightly moves a little bit there, s, from the s to the f, s, f, sphere. Many people say Earth is round. It's not round. It's actually a sphere. A ball is a sphere. A cricket ball is a sphere. Phantom. In London, there is a play on the West End called Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. P-H-A-N-T-O-M. Phantom. When I was younger, one of my favorite subjects was physics, physics, P-H-Y-S-I-C-S, -S. physics, P-H-Y-S-I-C-S, -S. physics. Physics is a type of science that describes forces and how forces affect us daily on a daily basis. Pharmacy. P-H-A-R-M-A-C-Y. A pharmacy might sell medication. So if you're feeling sick, you might want to visit the pharmacy. In England, we traditionally call these places chemists. Chemists. But pharmacy is how it's known in other countries and other parts of the world. A child who has no parents is known as an orphan. Orphan. O-R-P-H-A-N. Orphan. Graph. Graph. I like to look at the graphs in my YouTube channel to see how it's performing. Who's watching all of my videos? How much of my videos are being watched? So I look at this graph, this graph, and this graph as well. Dolphin, a mammal that swims in the sea, breathes like a human, is called a dolphin. If you want to know more about phonics, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you over there.